long way down, you know what? That's why we're strapped in. All right, we'll give it another 15 minutes. And I'm going down for breakfast. I got chores. So we'll see what we can do. There's my stand. Good old stand. Toby, oh! That's why you stay strapped in. That thing took a shit for itself. It saved my ass right there, boys. Holy shit. Hi, everybody. I hope, uh, hope I'm in the picture here. Cut to the chase. After 12 days of not being able to put anything on YouTube, had a lot of work done on my computer. The first company did the very best they could, came up with a solution, but it, it wasn't right. So I, uh, rather than have to reinstall Windows all over again, you guys know what it's like. If you've got thousands of hours worth of stuff you've done, files where the files, you know where they are, save stuff where you know where it is, photographs, you know, stuff you've worked on, you know that a fresh install, as wonderful as it may sound, is one hell of a lot of work. And then, is it ever the same as what you've grown the computer into? Probably never. But, in desperation, I asked Siri on the phone, who's the best reputable computer specialist in, Sir in Camillus, New York, Syracuse, New York? Well, I come up with this place out of a list of them that just stood out to me. It's called Rescue Com. Okay. I gave him a call. When I talked to this guy, Forrest, on the line, he sounded like a recording. Actually, I, I got a little rude with the recording. I thought it was a recording. It was a guy. And he's a nice guy, too. Well, we worked out a deal and um, a couple hundred bucks or something in that vicinity. They would guarantee 100% that they would get shadow play working again on my computer and the computer would run wonderful. Okay, sounds good, 100%. All right, let's, you know, y'all gotta worry about that, but hey, I'll take them at their word and paid with a credit card, so worse comes to worse, you can always um, stop payment, I suppose. Make a long story short, at eight o'clock last night, this fellow named Roy, uh, one of the technicians from Rescue Com out of Florida. At first, I blew the phone call off because I don't know anybody down there, uh, at least not yet. He starts to work on the computer, remote uh, control, starts at 8 o'clock by 3.30 in the morning. I mean, he had it running on all cores for the first time since I botched loading Windows three, four years ago because of a hard drive crash. I got my own profile back, works flawlessly, got rid of that creepy profile, which was the only way that the first people could do it. And when I saw how much work actually had to go in, I have the utmost respect for any technician that works on computers, especially, you know, somebody else's stuff. I mean, you're dealing with somebody else, like going into their house or going to their car or whatever the deal. Everything is just set just the way these people have it, and they just want their stuff to work. Make a long story short, that computer is fabulous. In fact, I unplugged it from the internet. <clears throat> no more updates, no more viruses, no more monkey business. I'm done with it. We've, we can run uh, Steam in offline mode and have a wonderful time. And it starts like this. It shuts off like this. Amazing. The guy is brilliant. Rescue Com. If you ever honestly need somebody that knows what they're doing, not just not me or some clown that's going to screw the thing up or work on it for four and a half days and it's just uh, I'm a nightmare. This guy knows what he's doing. He knew what was wrong. And get this, how it got on there, I don't know, but there was an ABG antivirus program. So it looked. It was a virus itself. I know that people say that these things can be evasive and it's not good to have... And I had two of them, Malware Bytes and AVG, originally. But I don't know how this other program got on. It wasn't even a really an AVG. It was a, the whole thing, thumbnail and all, looked legitimate. It was garbage. It was it was horrible. I had several viruses, malware. Uh, it had everything but a Trojan. 
Uh, we'll leave that alone. At any event, went on today after two half uh, hour and a half sleep in two days, two hours sleep. But anyway, I was dog tired, and I still am. I figured we'll get on a settled course. Of, we'll recalibrate the steering wheel, G27, with shifter, and uh, no problem. It did a nice job of doing that. It wasn't all that terrible hard. Before, I mean, you couldn't steer the thing. You, know, you moved the steering wheel a tiny bit, and it did like three revolutions, and you were up against the wall. It was impossible. You, you could barely drive it at walking speed without crashing. At 180, you forget your history. But it, it, it did it. It settled down. I got it right. Took it to L.A. Canyons. Now, if, if, you, if you're familiar with that mod, that is a, a, it's kind of an amazing mod. It's a huge, huge wandering course it really looks like you're in the L.A. Canyons. I mean, or you somehow imported your cars from Aceto into uh, American Truck Driver, and you're now headed coast to coast. Now, that would be fun. But since I've got it running on all, he said 12. I, I don't know how that works. I've got six cores, but they say they're two apiece or whatever the deal is. Let's push the thing. I, I usually run like maybe five AI, and it used to have a, it was struggling before on one core. Hey, as a, oh, what is it called? Uh, AI7, I7, I7, 333 gigahertz, six cores, what it was. Extreme. It is now, put 15 to 18, I don't remember exactly, on 100%, all muscle cars. Dude. Do you think I could get halfway around the track? I must have 40, 45 times. And I was serious. I, at one point, I said, I don't give a shit if you win or not. Just see if you can stay on the road long enough. The dirt in this game is as deadly as going over the edge of the cliff. Is as deadly as striking another car. The dirt is deadly dirt. It's ninja dirt in uh, Lake Canyons. Don't touch the dirt or your history. It throws the car in the air like a, you kicked a squirrel in the ass. I mean, it's just amazing how quick you can destroy any progress. Of course, I modded the piss out of the car, so they go like a son of a gun. And I let the AI have at it. Go ahead. And Uncle M's cars are just absolutely the most fabulous mods I've come across is Uncle M's uh, 67 Chevelle 396. Absolutely killer. And you got to see his Dodge Swinger, is it? Oh, oh. Freaking, the sound of these things is, if you like 60s muscle cars, you're, well, we won't go into what you probably will get out of the thing, but it, if it had the, the, the four barrel hoo that the Chryslers and stuff had back in the day, nobody's got that yet, but when they have that and the full back off sound, bah, now we've got it. We're two things away sound wise from having an absolutely perfect uh, experience with a muscle car, you're going to see it here. I would love to show you me win the thing. Maybe after I've had a, an honest to God night's sleep, 10, 11 hours straight, bang, the guy wakes up fresh and refreshed, praise the Lord and go. But two hours, forget it. I, I can't physically, I couldn't do it, as you'll see. But I do try. And with what I call the Royal Roadrunner, it is plum crazy purple and two twin turbo 440 it started out as i don't know what the hell it is now amazing check it out come on okay guys first we are five guys it is uh there's only a live in the first person here and this is just the raw footage right from uh shadow play and i'm hoping you're going to be able to enjoy this and the speed on my iPad. Let do. Okay. You may figure what a wuss. You know, he's driving very, uh, very carefully. Well, the 20 or 30 times before this, the slightest mistake like that one right there has cost me all my progress. Remember, Ninja Dirt, that could have done it. So I'm a little spooked. And another thing, you see the uh, tack flash in the detail. 
I had the wrong setting on as far as effects go. I think that's what it was. I found out later how to remove that so it doesn't look creepy. But watch this. This is how quick it's over. Right in the friggin' oblivion. History. We made it. Alright. We start again or we go home. Your choice. Alright. After 30 tries, I am a little bit peeved. It's recording that on top of it. That's not going to be good. Okay. Um, as you can see, sliding in and out of these cars is almost hypnotizing. To be honest with you, you've got to look at the speedometer. You have absolutely no idea. You're really traveling a lot faster than you think. Um, just the weaving in and out of the cars can almost put you into a, um, some kind of an oddball state of mind. And still, you've got to use that brake, man. You're using the brake in this particular course half more than you're using the accelerator put near. In the slightest uh, mistake on your half, or even somebody else's, you're, you're going to start again. That's just it. I never, well, I don't want to spoil it, but I never made it around this track once. I almost got there. Well, no, I, I made it about two-thirds, and uh, as you saw, wiped out. But check this out, guys. These fair lanes, I don't know how the hell the AI does it. It's running on the uh, number seven tires rather than the number 10 configuration. They don't seem to have a problem. I wouldn't, uh, I'd still be back at the start. But check out, man, this is really a trip. 100% AI, and this is a very unforgiving course. If you're planning on having a car like this, which is, uh, guided missile as far as straight speed, the top end, it could be your greatest enemy in this game. You'll rocket yourself right off into oblivion. Look at that. Isn't that weird? Okay, I'm going to kind of let you just check it out on your own without me babbling. But, oh no, man. Ah! You get the idea. Well, wait a minute. Hey, this is like Halo, when we used to drive the Warthog into places it shouldn't be. Uh, but I don't think this Roadrunner is up to the task. Maybe. Think I can get back up on the course? I'll try. Maybe if you put the headlights on, squeeze box, you might get somewhere. And this is what I mean. Watch. I try the headlights to no avail. I can't see. Goofy. There, there's the lights on, and look how weird they look. And it's just, I have to make an adjustment, that's all. Okay, oblivion. Aye! Aye. 30 or 40, at least 40 of these buggers. But as you can see, there's 18 cars in this, and it is running pretty good for 18 cars. And I'm running lousy on two hours sleep. Okay, check it out, guys. Have a good day. I'm sorry to leave you with a coat, uh, yeah, coat hanger, a cliffhanger at the end, but it's already getting pretty long. And honestly, just looking at it with a single view is not what I'm trying to put out on YouTube. But hey, this is what it's like having to race it, so check it out.